So we're going to be using the handheld sewing machine and seeing how well this goes with repairing the bag and hopefully we can get everything repaired while everything's still attached to the boom and that is the goal. If you enjoy this video, consider clicking the subscribe button and follow our adventures sailing around the world. Hi, we're the James family. Are you sick of your day-to-day -day life? Ever thought about doing something different? Well, we did just that. We bought an unfinished aluminium catamaran and we're fixing her up as we sail around the world. Come along for the journey and click subscribe. Daddy? Mommy? Charlie? So we are repairing our boom bag. So we've got this one here. We got this one from friends. Friends of ours have just gotten a new boom bag made for their boat. They have a similar size boom as us. And instead of throw out their old one, they offered it to us. They asked us if we could use it and upcycle it. And we said, yes, that would be amazing. So we're going to be using this one today to repair the one that's on our boom. So the other thing that we're going to be using today is this. So we're going to be using the handheld sewing machine and seeing how well this goes with repairing the bag. Um, instead of take off the main, off the boom bag and get everything inside and use the sewing machine, the bigger one inside. We're gonna try out this handheld one, see how well it does, and hopefully we can get everything repaired while everything's still attached to the boom. And that is the goal. But before we get started, we need to unwrap the boom because it's still wrapped for cyclone season. So let's head on up to the roof and let's get this girl unwrapped. So now that we've got the boom unwrapped, um, we're gonna pray to mother nature that another cyclone doesn't come through. We've got a bit of a love-hate relationship with our boom bag. Um, love it because it's in really good condition. Also really love it because it's got mesh on the bottom. So we've got the bit of wings on the side of the boom. We've got this mesh on the bottom of the boom bag and that helps prevent the sail from going moldy. And we absolutely love that because when it rains, it just drains straight out of the bag and we don't have to worry about any water getting trapped in there or anything. Um, the hate part, <laughs> our zipper is starting to show wear, um, up here particularly at the top. Up here, it's starting to come undone and as I'm holding it, it's starting to flake as well. Um, and it's starting to un undo and we can't get it up any further because it's starting to rip. At the end of the boom, um, that has also started to fray like the top here. And um, whenever we go to put the zipper back on, it's a bit of a juggle trying to get the zip back on. And it's been repaired before the zipper. And you can see all these previous holes and everything. So the zip's not in good condition. So that's one of the things that we're gonna be taking from the other bag. The other part of the hate relationship with this bag is that this is like a tube top. It is very tight and it takes two people to close the bag. So sometimes when we are sailing and we're not going too far and the main is in the bag like it is right now sam and i will be on the back deck and we'll look at each other and we'll say 
Do you want to put the mane up? Do you want to put the mane up? Um, and it takes both of us, two people, to close the bag. Um, one person <laughs> has to be on one side and like hold it close <laughs> like this, and the other person has to be zipping it. Um, sort of reminds me <laughs> like when um, in the Cinderella movie when one of the stepsisters tries to shove their foot into the glass slipper and it's definitely not going to fit and then it does fit and it's so tight. Um, that's sort of what our sale is. It's very, it just fits into the bag. It is a good size for the sale, but it's just a pain to get in. So when we are not going too far um, and we're sailing along as in here, it's sort of like a debate, like whether we want to put in the 20 minutes to get it back in the bag. So what we are going to be doing today is taking the zipper off of that other bag, but we are also going to be taking a little bit of extra material as well and putting extra material along here. So we are going to give ourselves a bit more material so when we zip the bag up, it'll be easier. So that's what we are doing. So let's get started with unpicking the zip. Charlie's just come out to help and, and stitch the boom, but she's come out with no pants and no undies on. And has... <laughs> so now I'm looking at a naked tush walking all over the boom. Where did your pants go? Are they inside? Okay, so the zipper is fully off. The bag is open. So um, at this point, that means that I'm committed to this project. <laughs> Can't just stop halfway through now. Fully going for it. Um, so this is our old zipper. And we couldn't fully close the bag before because it's starting to tear right here. And every time we got close to this area here, like if you put any pressure on it, it just started to rip even more. So, um, basically time for a new zipper.
so the zipper is all cut out. So we've given ourselves about a foot of extra material with the zipper. So this will really help when, when we're closing up the bag. Um, we're gonna throw this up onto the roof. We're gonna start at the mast. Um, gonna use some clothespins to hold it all together and line it all up. So let's throw this up onto the roof. You wanna help? Yeah? You wanna throw some clothes on? Yeah, go throw some clothes on. Charlie's just come up, she's gotten herself dressed, put on a bathing suit. You wanna do a twirl? Wow! Wow! You see the most stepping in my foot? Okay, so this is the moment of truth. Uh, this is this is where we find out whether this handheld sewing machine will work on repairing the boom bag and whether it will go through the canvas. And I'm not gonna lie, I am really nervous right now because. If this doesn't go through, I am hand stitching this entire thing. All, all of this. All right, yeah, let's, let's go, let's try it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, no, no. No. Find out next week whether or not this $10 handheld sewing machine can handle the boom bag. Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying our videos and would like to help support us making videos and content, consider becoming a Patreon. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons, and we will see you all next week.